Well, the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games are officially underway and it's so far so good for the Team GB women's football team. So who better to talk to me about Great Britain's chances and the Brighton and Hove Albion defender and my former St. Martin's teammate, Maya Letizia, who joins us now. Welcome, Maya. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Yeah, uh, good to speak to you. So we're going to start off uh, with the first question is basically... From your experiences firsthand of playing against a large majority of the Britain squad, how do you rate their chances of getting a gold medal? Uh, yeah, I would, have, I would like to think that they're going to go all the way. Um, they got a great team, you know, all of the players are outstanding individuals. So, yeah, as long as they, work, they can work together as a team and um, kind of get, get some kind of good play going with the new manager and stuff and try and work things out, then, yeah, I'm sure they'll go all the way. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching... The, the remaining games, I watched them today against Japan and uh, the second half was good. It was a bit of a slow start, but uh, yeah, with the quality they've got on the pitch, they should do really well. Yeah, and so from playing against most of them, who do you think are the standout players who are going to have to perform well if we're going to have a chance of winning a medal? Um, you know, I'd probably say Lauren Hemp, the winger, left winger. She's so quick. She's so hard. <laughs> she's so difficult to defend against. Um <laughs> Yeah, she's she's a great player, and obviously there's so many of them. Um, you know, hopefully when when Frank Kirby she's taken a bit of a knock, but hopefully she'll be back for the kind of remaining game. She's a quality player, and Steph Horn at the back, the the captain, the leader, um, Kim Little in the middle. Like there's so many players, Lucy Bronze. Like yeah. all of the players are just outstanding. Like when you come up against them, it's just like seeing, trying to see for me like where I'm at. Um, against like the best players in the world, so yeah, like their team's incredible if you think about it. Like, yeah, they should do so well. Um, but yeah, it's great to watch at the moment. And a similar sort of question from other nations: Who do you think we've got to be wary of? Which sort of individuals? I think the main ones probably the states. You know, yeah. they're always kind of the strong ones and winning World Cups and stuff. Like they've got so many kind of trophies to their names. So yeah, I'd say the states and um, the Dutch team. They drew three with Brazil today. So um, Brazil, like, I'll probably say these are the main three-ish that teams that are going to be the most difficult. Um, but, yeah, whenever we come up against them, I think we've got the team to kind of go all the way. So, um, yeah, we'll see see how they do. But um, there's been so many goals at the moment in, in the women's football. It's, it's crazy. Like, some of the results are just mad. So it's been good to watch it. It's been nice and entertaining. Yeah. And at least it's some football to kind of kill the break between the World Cup and the Premier League starting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, from your standpoint, um, obviously in three years' time, it is now the next Olympics, which is in Paris, I believe. Do you think that you can push to get into this squad next time the Olympics come around? And what do you think you have to do to make it? Um, you know, it's always a dream to kind of go to an Olympics. Um, so I'd like to think so, but there's a, there's a long way for me to go until I'm anywhere near the squad. Like the individuals that they've got in there are are so good and for me to get to that level is going to take a lot of kind of improvements and a lot of more experience to to kind of bring something else to the team so I'm not sure three years might be a bit early but um, definitely in the future I'll be looking to kind of break into one of the squads and kind of see obviously I want to go and get Olympic gold so like that would be the, the main goal I think every English player every everyone wants to kind of represent Great Britain in the Olympics because that's just one of the things that you that you really want to do so yeah I think I just need to keep on playing and keep my head down at Brighton and mm -hmm. getting lots of game time which I have done last season and yeah you never know like what could happen as things kind of move so fast in football but um yeah. yeah other things can get in the way so it's just just a thing of getting my head down and keep on working and then, you know yeah. see where I could go. Mm -hmm. And final question. So with the new Women's Super League season coming ahead, what are your aims and ambitions for the new campaign? Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a great kind of season for us. We did really well last season, so it's just for a team to try and push that and um, do better than we did last season. I think probably consistency comes into that with getting our results um, against the teams, which we should beat. Um, so yeah, I, I just want to get my head down get game time, test myself out against the best players in the world and um, yeah, just keep on improving like, on and off the pitch and um, that's just going to put me in good stead for, for the future and to be in there for team selection. So, 
yeah just just work hard and yeah see where see where it could go but I think the season's going to be really good and really positive okay perfect thanks so much for your time Maya and uh good luck for the season ahead no worries Jamesy thank you